What, uh, how much work uh, here during the off season did you get um, with uh, with the receivers? You know, in, I guess in small groups, and and how helpful do you think that will be coming into camp as you're uh, trying to earn that number two spot? Yeah, I think it was big for me. You know, me and my family stayed here in Nashville this whole off season, um, and really just took it upon myself to you know get some guys out there, um, get some work in especially since we didn't have that off-season program. And yeah, I think it'd be uh, very beneficial for us and uh, just excited to, to see that come to, come to life and, uh, and get going. Uh, Jim Watt. Logan, appreciate your time. And uh, I guess how excited are you to start camp and, and what do you hope to show, you know, coaches, you know, GM, your teammates is uh, just start a, a big camp for you. Yeah, I mean, I'm very excited to be back. Um, feels like forever since I've, you know, took a snap under center, but uh, just really feel prepared coming into this year. And, uh, you know, just want to show everybody in the building just uh, that continued uh, work ethic that I have, uh, you know, the ability to continue to learn and then obviously just go out and make the plays. And, uh, you know, I think the year last year really helped me out a ton uh, from a mental standpoint. Uh, watching Ryan and how he prepares uh, and just kind of, you know, adapting that and uh, kind of just following what he's been doing. So it's been really great. What did you learn specifically from him? I mean, he had a lot of nice things to say about you just as we left him. What are some things that you kind of watched and learned from him? Yeah, I think first of all, it's just being a pro, you know, and, you know, what time he gets in the building every day, like how he takes care of his body in the meetings. He's also, he's really very detailed. Um, in the routes and the plays that we have. And uh, I just try to adapt and uh, just kind of learn from him in that standpoint of, you know, when to ask questions and it's okay to ask questions and, uh, you know, and, and being a leader. I think Ryan is a great leader. Um, you know, everybody looks up to him uh, and he works extremely hard uh, and just kind of take that and just kind of mold that into, into what I got going. Uh, Eric. Hey, Logan. Uh, I'm just curious as someone looking to shore up his spot on the depth chart, what was your sort of reaction to the preseason games being canceled? And how do you just, uh, I guess, compensate for that in, in terms of trying to prove your value to coaches uh, during the training camp practices that you will have? Yeah, I mean, that was tough, but it's something that's out of my control. Um, but, you know, now it's just, uh, treat practice like games. And, uh, you know, I think I did a good job of that last year and, you know, get opportunities, whether that's in the walkthroughs, in the meetings or on the practice field and just take advantage of them and uh, just use every day to get better and uh, just continue to continue to work. Uh, Teron. Logan, last season, you know, you, you were placed on the IR there are times where guys get put on IR and, and they just kind of fade away and they're not there at the facility. But you were there on game plan install and, and you worked with Coach O'Hara like as if you were going to play. What made you want to be that involved even though you weren't going to be actually playing? Well, I think, you know, this has just uh, been my dream ever since I was a little kid is to, to make an active roster and to be in the NFL. And, uh, you know, I used last year as just, a, you know, a great, you know, learning atmosphere you know being around these coaches uh being around the great staff being around the players that we have um and just although i couldn't do it on the field just uh just tried to really sharpen up mentally and uh continue to rehab um because i knew if i continued to do that that you know maybe i'd have another shot at it and uh you know here we are so it's really exciting and and i'm looking forward to it a long time ago you got the chance to work with jeff garcia and he was obviously a very gritty quarterback. He said he wanted to bring that out from you and he already saw it. At what point did you start to really, you know, develop that grit and, and, and that kind of chip that you play with? Yeah, I mean, I think it, it goes all the way back to, to being in high school and, uh, you know, had to transfer high schools because I couldn't be a quarterback. Um, and then when I got to college, you know, got benched twice, um, you know, was in a competition for two years and lost that battle. And then end up redshirting in college and then coming out of it and being pretty successful. So, you know, this isn't the first time that I've, uh, 
you know, gone through uh, this type of situation. Um, and I've just used those learning experiences to know that something, something's going to be better on the other side and just continue to work and good things are going to happen to you. Teresa. Hey, Logan, what do you think is your biggest uh, attribute on the field? You know, there's been a lot of praise for your work ethic, and and Ryan said a little while ago that you've got the tools, but what do you think, is it the way you see the field? Is it your arm? What What is your best attribute? Well, I think it's just, <clears throat> I, I know the offense really well, and, you know, I know what, what the coaches are trying to get out of the plays, and, you know, I feel like that I have the accuracy and the timing to get the ball to the right people in the right times. Um, and I think really that's the main thing is, you know, being smart with the football um, and just continuing to when we need to make a play that, you know, they'll trust me to, to make it. Uh, Terry. Logan, how much I know you, you don't have any in it, experience in any NFL games, but uh, how much can you draw on your time in the uh, AAF? Uh, where you were a starting quarterback there to kind of feel that, what that game experience is like. What, what kind of things did you learn there? Yeah, I mean, I took a lot out of that. Um, you know, it was a really great opportunity for me to go, like you said, to go in and play uh, against some really good competition. Um, and then kind of like last year, I, I kind of compared it to the preseason games. Uh, I had about eight, eight games in the AAF and just kind of tried to compare those to like playing in preseason games and – you know, that's about as real as it can get other than being uh, in a official game. Um, so I just, you know, the speed of the game uh, really got to pick up on, you know, is a big difference from college to the AF to the preseason um, and just kind of learn that way. And it, it was very beneficial for me. Paul Carthy. Hey, good to see you. Thanks. Who, uh, who were you with mostly uh, when you got guys together? uh and and where yeah i mean we were just around nashville we were trying to be safe you know with all the you know the coronavirus that was going on trying to be safe and uh apply to all the protocols and you know we had a few guys coming in coming in and out of nashville uh anthony ferkser was a guy that was there that we threw that i got a ton of work with you know aj was in town a lot um so got a lot of work with him um, and then once the rookies came in a couple of them came up here to nashville so Mason Kinsey, Nick Westbrook, uh, KD. Um, and those are guys that just, Adam Humphrey's another guy that uh, has been in and out of town. So just kind of send them texts every now and then, hey, you in town, let's get together. And for the most part, it was really successful. And what was the injury last year? And how long did it take? Like, was there a point at which you could have returned if you were a roster guy? Yeah, it was just an arm injury. Um, you know, it, it took a little longer than expected. Um, but once I kind of got put on that op, the practice squad of R, I knew I probably couldn't come off of that. So I just tried to really focus on, uh, you know, the mental aspect and then just the rehabilitation. And uh, everything's great. I'm feeling great. Throwing arm? Yes, sir. Thank you. Uh, Buck? Hey, Logan. Uh, with, with you and Cole primarily competing for the backup quarterback spot, how, how has it been to kind of, I know you guys probably just get to know each other, haven't just gotten back to the facility, but how is it fostering a relationship at, with a guy that you're competing with at a time when it's particularly hard to have relationships with anybody? Yeah, I mean, uh, me and Cole, they, he had came in uh, when Ryan had had us throwing uh, a couple months back. So I got to meet him. Um, when he got drafted, sent him a text. And then once he got here, he's been great. Uh, you know, I just look at, from my perspective, when I was a rookie, you know, I, w I wanted to lean on somebody that that knew what we were doing. Um, and, I'm, and I wanna be all, all the help that I can for him because I know how that, how that goes when you're a rookie. And, uh, you know, it's tough when you come in, learning a new offense, you know, moving to a new city. So I just wanna be a resource for him and uh, happy that he's on our team. Uh, Luke? Logan, you've talked a lot about uh, the opportunities you had last year when you were on the injured list to grow and to learn. Where do you think you have grown the most, maybe from your AAF days up to now? Where have you gotten better? Well, I think uh, 
obviously from a mental standpoint, just seeing a lot of tape, uh, going through a whole year of game planning for, for other opponents, I think that was really big for me, going on the road, being in that environment, even though I wasn't playing, uh, just being in that type of environment, hearing what was going on, being able to communicate with, you know, Ryan and Marcus on the sideline. And then physically, I think that I've continued to get stronger. Um, and I think really that's the main point. Just I really tried to work on my strength and uh, just to get my body right and in the best shape possible coming into this camp. Uh, Gentry. Yeah, hey, Logan. I'm curious as you kind of go back, you mentioned your your high school career and then, you know, coming out of high school, coming out of college, why do you think you've you've kind of been overlooked or underestimated, you know, given you've had some success along the way? Uh. I don't, I don't really know, to be honest. Um, I just, you know, I try not to look too much into it. I just kind of go off of uh, the life experiences that I've had and I wouldn't trade it for the world because it's definitely helped put me in the position that I am today. And, uh, you know, just continue to work and uh, ignore the outside noise and uh, good things will happen. Yeah. And with the, with the Titans this off season, I mean, it's, it's pretty clear they're, they're committed to giving you, you a shot at the backup job here. How much is it meant to you that, that they do, seem to have such faith in you for that. Yeah, I mean, it's meant the world to me. And, uh, you know, the, th the only thing I can do is control what I can control and, and give them everything I got. You know, this whole off season was tough, you know, not being in the building, but in the back of my mind, I knew that, you know, the Titans were counting on me. And uh, I definitely didn't want to let them down because of the great opportunities that they've given me for sure. Uh, Johnny. Good afternoon, Logan. Uh, back in 2015, you redshirted after starting the previous season at Toledo due to injury. Uh, is last year for you with the Titans similar to what you learned from a mental standpoint and those kind of things that can help you in 2020 in this role? Yeah, I think, you know, you hit hit the nail on the head there. Um, you know, when I was at Toledo, you know, didn't redshirt my true freshman year, had played, and then had another quarterback come in from Alabama that transferred uh, Philip Ely and uh, just kind of learned from him. Yeah, I needed to take a year back to see it from a from a coach's perspective. Um, I still got to continue to practice, you know, even though I was red shirting, but not playing in the games. That was really tough on me, man. Uh, that was a tough point, but uh, just took everything I could from it. And then the next year, you know, obviously came out and was really successful. And uh, I think it, a lot of it had to deal with that, uh, that red shirt year ahead. All right. That's all the questions. We appreciate your time, Logan. Perfect. Thank you, Logan. Thank you.